Picture a time 900,000 years ago. Our human ancestors were on the brink of oblivion. The stage was set in the grand theater of evolution, and our forebears were facing a dramatic decline. Their numbers, once robust and teeming, began to dwindle alarmingly. They were reduced to a mere 1,280 reproducing individuals. That's right, just a whisper away from total extinction. This event is known as a genetic bottleneck, a sharp reduction in the size of a population due to environmental events or human activities. The curtain was falling, the lights dimming, and the very existence of our lineage was hanging by a thread. So, what could have caused this precipitous drop in population? Well, the exact reasons remain shrouded in the mists of prehistory. Perhaps it was due to harsh environmental conditions. It could have been a brutal ice age, a catastrophic volcano eruption, or a devastating disease that swept through the population. The fact is, we just don't know. What we do know is that around 98.7% of our ancient lineage vanished, as if swallowed by the sands of time. Now imagine the cosmic clock ticking down to midnight, and we were down to our last second. The future of our species hung in the balance, teetering on the razor's edge of oblivion. But as dire as this situation was, it may have had profound repercussions that still echo to this day. This bottleneck might have led to an increase in inbreeding as the reduced population scrambled to survive. This, in turn, could have resulted in a significant loss in human genetic diversity, a loss that persists to this day. Moreover, this dramatic event may have triggered an evolutionary response, leading to the emergence of a new hominin species. Just like a phoenix rising from the ashes, our ancestors survived, adapted, and evolved. This bottleneck might have led to increased inbreeding and a subsequent loss in human genetic diversity that persists to this day. And who knows? It might have birthed a new hominin species. Fast forward to 1.2 million years ago. Homo sapiens, Homo ergaster, and Homo erectus roamed the Earth. Their footprints echoed through the vast stretches of time, marking their existence. But here's a startling fact. These early humans, despite their pioneering spirit, were not abundant. The worldwide breeding population of these early humans was, astonishingly, between 18,000 to 26,000 people. To put this into perspective, consider this. The current global population of gorillas, a species considered endangered, is significantly larger. Yes, our predecessors, the architects of human civilization, were fewer in number than today's gorillas. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? So what led to this precariously small population? The answer, unfortunately, is lost in the sands of time. Perhaps it was the harsh realities of the Pleistocene era, with its daunting predators and unpredictable climate, or perhaps this small population was simply the norm, we can only speculate. It's possible that our early human ancestors experienced periods of population boom and subsequent collapse, living in a constant cycle of expansion and contraction. Alternatively, they might have maintained a small population size for millions of years, teetering on the edge of extinction, yet persisting against all odds. The implications of these early humans near extinction are profound. With such a small gene pool, the genetic diversity would have been limited, potentially making the population more vulnerable to diseases and genetic disorders. On the other hand, the survival of this small group of early humans also speaks volumes about their resilience and adaptability. Now picture this. Our ancestors, huddled together for warmth around a flickering fire, under a sky strewn with a million stars, their whispering stories, passing down wisdom, and in their hearts, a gnawing realization. They're walking a tightrope above the abyss of extinction. It's a scene that's both haunting and humbling. Imagine our ancestors huddled around a cosmic campfire whispering, we're this close to the abyss. But wait, there's more. Earth itself has faced extinction events. Our blue planet has been the stage for a series of cataclysmic events that have dramatically reshaped life as we know it. Let's take a trip back in time and explore these cosmic catastrophes. The first stop on our journey takes us back about 440 million years ago to the Ordovician Silurian extinction. This was a time when life was primarily confined to the seas, and it was these marine species that bore the brunt of the extinction. An intense ice age led to a significant drop in sea levels, wiping out an estimated 85% of all marine species. But life, as they say, finds a way, and it bounced back. Moving forward, we come to the Devonian extinction, which occurred around 365 million years ago. This extinction event is often referred to as the age of fish die-off. 
it marked the end of many marine species, particularly those in the warm, shallow reefs. Scientists suspect a series of climate changes, possibly triggered by a comet or asteroid impact as the main culprit. Next, we encounter the Permian-Triassic extinction, occurring about 250 million years ago. This event is often referred to as the Great Dying, and for good reason. It's believed that a staggering 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species were wiped out. This extinction event was the closest life on Earth came to being completely obliterated. We then transition into the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. Around 210 million years ago, yet another mass extinction event took place. This time, though, it wasn't just marine life that was affected. This extinction event cleared the way for dinosaurs to dominate the land, as many of their competitors were wiped out. Finally, we arrive at the Cretaceous-Tertiary extinction, which occurred around 65 million years ago. This is perhaps the most famous of all extinction events, as it led to the end of the dinosaurs. An asteroid impact is the most widely accepted theory for this event. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. The extinction of the dinosaurs gave mammals a chance to thrive and eventually led to the rise of humans. So there you have it. A whirlwind tour of Earth's history, marked by five significant extinction events. Each of these cosmic catastrophes brought about the end of countless species. Yet, in the face of such adversity, life has shown a remarkable ability to adapt and evolve. Earth's history is a roller coaster of close calls, but it's also a testament to the resilience of life and a stark reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve the diverse array of life that calls this planet home. So, dear viewers, next time you look up at the stars, remember, our planet's tale is one of survival against all odds. It's a story of resilience and rebirth, of life's tenacity in the face of the unthinkable. We've been to the brink, and yet, here we are. This is not just the history of our species, but the history of all life on Earth. From the ancient bottleneck to cosmic catastrophes, each chapter in our past is a testament to life's astounding capacity to endure. It's a reminder of our place in the cosmos. We are but a thread in the vast tapestry of existence, a fleeting miracle in the grand scheme of time. So keep your eyes wide and your mind open. Be a guardian of this fragile miracle we call life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Signing off from the edge of existence, this is, and remember, life's a fragile miracle.